Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a preloader of loading streaming music into your Unity game. Let me show you first about what we're going to make. We have a text field on GUI where we can type in any URL um, to any music file on the web. So let's type in peerplay.nl slash music ogg and when I click on the button load URL, click, a preloader will load up. And as you can hear, uh, music is playing. So that's what we're going to make. So let's start from the beginning. So we're starting off with a new scene. Um, we've got the camera, of course. The first thing we want to do is uh, on the camera, we've got the audio listener. And as we want to load in streaming music, uh, we want to add here a um, new component and it's going to be an audio source. So if you type audio source, then it'll be added to the main camera. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new script. Um, you can do it by clicking here, create a C sharp script, or you can go to the camera add component and you can just type in here the name of your new script I'll call this load file I'll say new script language is C sharp create an add and there you have your new script already attached to the camera and it's empty um, the next thing I'm going to do is because I want to make a preloader bar I'm going to add a cube to the scene because that's going to be our amazing amazing uh, preloader so let's add a cube and let me also add a directional light so we can make this whole scene a little bit brighter let's over here directional light pull this a little bit away all right and um, I'm going to make this cube to a scale of 50 in its x uh, axis so now it has a nice length of a um, bar and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a new empty object call this um, progress bar and I'll put the cube into the progress bar why I'm going to do that is because um, now the progress bar here has a scale of 1 and um, we're going to preload a uh, music object and the 0% to 100% is equal to 0 to 1 so in scripting I can easily say that if the preloading is at 41 uh, or 51% then it'll be scaled to this and so it's going to be scaled up like this all the way up to 1 so yeah that's pretty much it so far Let's start by opening up our load file into Moda Develop. What we're first going to do is create a on GUI so we can um, show a text field in which we can type in the URL and also a button that we can click and if you click the button the preloader will start and the music will be loaded, loaded into Unity. So I'll start off by making a public string um, and I'll call this URL string. This we can use later. Um, and I'll start off by typing void on GUI. And everything between these is going to be shown onto the GUI. So let's start off by making the text field. So I'll say um, this public string that I just created here we want to uh, set this string to become the what you type into the text field so I'll say here URL string is GUI dot text field and a text field is an area of one line and you can also select here text area but then you have a multi-line text area so we want to use a text field for just a URL. 
now I'll say it's parameters it's a new rectangle and or we can set the left top uh, width and height so I'll set it to this to 10 also to 10 it's width to about 200 and it's height to 20 the next thing we can do is what the text is going to be well the text is going to be this URL string and um, next we can give a limit of how many characters you can type you can leave this out or you can set here for example 100 so far for the string and underneath that we want to have a button so we'll say if GUI dot button new rectangle and we can set here its variables again so I'll say 10 and this will be beneath the text field so I'll say like 40 uh, from the top its width is going to be the same as the string or text field and its height is going to be something like 50 and then we can set the name of the button and I'll call this load URL close that one and everything between these brackets this is what is going to happen if you click the button so what we have so far is if I load the scene then you'll see here the text field in which you can type and you can press the button but nothing happens yet so now we're going to make it work that you can load music into your unity scene let's start off by creating a few more variables that we need first thing I'm going to make is a public game object which I'll call progress bar because um, we want to adjust the skill of the progress bar um, I'll make a new string uh, which is private uh, and I'll call this the URL and I'll make the www class which is the class we're going to work with to load anything external and I'll call this one www but not in capitals and the last thing I'm going to add is an audio clip because we want to add an audio clip to the audio source and I'll call this audio clip clip so now that we have our variables we can start to making our load URL script how we're going to do that is we're going to make a enumerator and for that we're going to type in here I enumerator and what a numerator is is it uh, is a function which is going to loop um, something until something has been done loading so you want to load something in or do something and this is going to wait until it has been done I'll call this load URL I'll close it and in between this is what we're going to do to load preload the uh, audio file and once it's been loaded then it's going to play and here I created the button and what the button must do when you click on it what we're going to set there is that it should load this function load URL so let's type that in and the way we're, we can do that is by using the start coroutine and the name of the coroutine is the load 
URL. There you go. And inside the load URL, I'm going to type the uh, URL and set this URL to the URL string. Also, I, also I'm going to type in that the www is a new www URL. Now the clip, the audio clip, is going to be the www dot get audio clip. So this is going to get the audio clip from the uh, address that we typed into the text area. And with get audio clip, I can give here two different functions or two different booleans. So the first one is three dimensional or two dimensional. If I'll set this to true, then uh, it'll load in the sound as a 3D sound and false, it'll be a 2D sound. And in this case, I want to be a, a 2D sound because it's going to be background music. And the next one says if I want to stream or not. And let's say I want to stream and I'll set this to true. Now we are going to uh, create our um, preloader. So um, that's what we're going to do with a while. While. Um, while it is not done, so while the www is with is done, we can check if it's done. So with an exclamation mark in front of it, we can say if it's not done, then we are going to give it a yield return www. So well the www uh, URL, so in this audio clip, well it hasn't been loaded yet, then it will it will return its www. Whoops. Um, now to make sure that there are no errors, because you could type in anything into the URL um, that is not really an HTTP or a file that Unity supports, you can make a check here. So I'll s set here the Underneath, I'll set here an if statement. If dot error is null. So if there's no error, because the error will be empty, then something happens for now. And if the um, www.error is not null then I'll give a debug.log and let's say here um, error make sure you load in OGG or Wave because OGG and Wave is only supported on uh, a web application, and for mobile applications you can also use MP3. Check the URL. All right. Now what we want to do here, we don't want to give this command something happens, but we really want to do something, and that's going to be the audio clip. So audio that dot clip is clip and this is talking to the um, audio source and audio dot play we want to play the audio
and underneath it'll we'll say yield return zero. Oops. Now the final thing we want to do is to make the preloader work. So into the update we're going to check if the www is not null. So um, if www is oops this is not correct. If it's not null and we know that by the load URL because it'll return the www here and it'll keep returning it until it's done so if it's not null then I want to set the progress bar and the the www that it returns is a variable between 0 and 1 uh, as I said earlier the 0 stands for 0% and the 1 stands for 100% so the progress bar uh, which is the game object we want to set its transform dot local scale to a new vector 3 and it's X should be the same as www dot its progress and this one should be just at one and now if I'll save the script I'll head over to unity and I'm really hoping it is going to work so let's start Oh, I forgot something. I should put this one onto that script. And now if I'll start it, it should be working. So I'll type in URL to www.peerplay.nl slash music2.ogg load URL. It'll give an error. Awesome. So I made a typo here and it gave me here the error. I have to remove one T here and now if I'll click load URL. Whoa! It loads the music. Thank you for following this tutorial and if you have any questions go to www.peerplay.nl. See ya!